Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. Today we are talking about series 13 where we are learning a great deal on surface areas and volumes. This is episode number 7 and today we are going to talk about surface area of a sphere. Actually, you know, while we are talking about sphere, I would like to also add hemisphere. So we will talk about surface area for sphere and hemisphere both together in this webisode. Now for our, from our earlier classes, earlier grades, we know what is a sphere, right? Best example of a sphere is like a soccer ball or any kind of ball, which is totally round, right? So the only one dimension or the measurement that we really need to know for a sphere is this radius r. So what is this radius? So this is the center of a sphere. Now assume that you basically cut across a plane passing right through the center of the sphere. Then on that plane, you will get a circle. So R is the radius of that circle, as shown here in this figure. So now if we know this, so we don't need to know anything else. Remember, like for cylinder, we needed to know the radius of the top bottom circle and the height of the cylinder. When it came to cone, we also needed to know the bottom circle's radius, but also the height of the cone. For sphere, the only one thing we need is this radius r. So what is the total surface area of this sphere? So the total surface area of this sphere is 4 pi r squared. The formula to calculate total surface area of any sphere whose radius is r is 4 times pi r squared. Now, let's talk about a hemisphere. What is a hemisphere? So if, if we cut the sphere into two equal parts. So for example, if we take a, if we take a plane and we make it pass right through the center, then we can cut it into two parts. Think about maybe like if you have a watermelon, a big round sphere, and if you cut right through the middle. So these two, each of them will be a hemisphere. Hemispheres, this is one hemisphere and this is the second hemisphere. So hemisphere is nothing but it is half hemi means half sphere. So sphere is a whole sphere and hemisphere is half of a sphere. So each one of them will be a hemisphere. So now let's take a look at this hemisphere. So the curved surface area of the hemisphere will be how much? It will be 2 pi r square. Why? Because the total sphere was 4 pi r square. So for hemisphere that will be half of it that will be 2. So 4 pi r square divided by 2. So 2 pi r square. This will be the curved surface area for the hemisphere. Now the total surface area. So why do we have a total surface area? We did not have we did not have a curved surface area and a total surface area when we were talking about sphere. We had only one total surface area which was 4 pi r square. But if you look closely for a hemisphere, you have the curved surface area which is 2 pi r square. But also, what about, what about this part that I am actually highlighting right now? In other words, if you have a watermelon and if you have cut it into two equal halves, so now, in addition to the, the curved part, you also have the top of the watermelon or the bottom of the watermelon. So that is also a surface. Remember that whenever we talk about surface area, the best way to think about that is what is the amount of space that you need to put a paint on potentially, right? Obviously, we, we are not going to be painting a watermelon. But if we were to paint this thing, this hemisphere, we have to apply the paint to the curved part, but also we have to apply the paint to the top part. But when we had a sphere, there was no circle. The entire thing was only one big sphere. But now that we have a hemisphere, it has the curved surface, but it also has a top, right? So the total surface area will not only include the curved surface area, but will also include the top part. So it will be the curved area plus top or the base circles area, which will be nothing but the curved area is 2 pi r square, 2 pi r square. And what is the area of this circle? Well, we know that this radius is r. 
So the area of this circle is pi r square. So it will be 2 pi r square which is the curved surface area plus pi r square which is the area of the circle, top or the bottom circle. So 2 pi r square plus pi r square equals 3 pi r square. So it's very important to understand friends that the curved surface area of a hemisphere is 2 pi r square. The total surface area of a complete sphere is 4 pi r square and the total surface area of a hemisphere that includes the curved surface area plus the area of a circle that will be 3 pi r square.